Does the more competitive chapter begin here this weekend in Spain? So obviously it's the first European um, Grand Prix, which normally everyone brings uh, some good updates, uh, as, as we do as well, but uh, it's just a matter of uh, which one is made the step a little bit bigger. Coming to you, Felipe, what lies ahead, do you think, then in, the, in this next phase of the season up to the summer break? Well, uh, Barcelona is always a, a good uh, you know, picture to see where everybody's sitting and... Uh, it's not going to be any different, I would say, in a way that we also bringing uh, a few updates in the car. Uh, but let's see. In, uh, we were quite good in testing here in Barcelona, so uh, it's it's one one for me to look forward. Carlos, coming for you, highest placed Spanish driver in the championship, heading into your home Grand Prix. Can you talk a, a little bit about your feelings uh, at racing a Formula One car on home soil? Well, it will it will always be a a very special weekend for me and a very special. A uh, race to remember, for sure. I remember being here 10 years ago uh, for my first Grand Prix. I came to watch, getting into these huge hospitalities, uh, meeting uh, some important people, meeting my idol here in my left, uh, Fernando, for the first time when he was in Renault. And it was a big, big shock for me and, a, and an amazing experience. And probably thanks to that is... Uh, where I take the decision that I really wanted to be a Formula One driver one day and I really wanted to, to make this dream come true and 10 years later here I am uh, achieving this dream and having my first chance in my home Grand Prix. You proud to have inspired that, Fernando? Yeah, I, obviously, you know, I feel proud of uh, seeing Carlos here. Obviously, the, the talent that uh, he has is... Uh, has no questions in all the categories, and now in Formula One, everyone is surprised, but uh, I'm not. And uh, yeah, uh, he's uh, the future of our country, and uh, I'm happy to, to sit together here. Carlos, now this weekend you can beat him on the track. If that happens, how, do, how would that feel? And also to Fernando. Oh, we feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it will feel great. <laughs> no. Um, you don't realize it's, it's Fernando. You just see a McLaren and you just try to beat him. Obviously, out of the track, uh, uh, it's different. He's the man, it's Fernando, and we have a good relationship. But inside the track, everyone is a competitor. And like if we race in a go kart race, uh, for charity or for something, you try to win and to beat everyone, and here is the same. Coming to you, Nico, how can you harness the spirit of that early summer 2014 and get yourself back ahead of your teammate this time? Um, it's just it's just a matter of uh, of maximizing the weekends, you know. Now and I've, I've not it's not really come together until now. Uh, for me, it's Barcelona. It's a race on its own, and I come here after after the uh, a boost, personal feeling boost from from Bahrain. Um, just want to optimize this weekend. That's it. Not thinking uh, much more than that.